Hello and welcome to another Visual Basic tutorial. Here we're going to be converting an if condition into an equal in select case statement. This is the exact same program that I just showed you in the first example related to this conversion. However, the code behind the scene is slightly different. Here on the button, I made some changes. Instead of having a simple equals to operation, now I have made sense some changes. So let me run this and we're going to go through these changes. If the position is equals to 1, the output will going to be excellent. If position equals 2 or position equals 3, then the output is very good. So if position is equals to 2 or position equals to 3, then the output is very good. For all positions from 4 through 10 inclusive, the output should be good. So if I enter 4, if I enter 7, if I enter 10, the output should be good. For all other values, like 14, the output should be better luck next time. Now we're going to be converting this into an equal in select case structure. In select case structure, we're going to first of all write select case position, which is the name of the variable that we're testing. Then we're going to start writing our cases. So we have a case 1, which simply says that display on the screen the message excellent. Then we have a second case, which is if the value is 2 or 3. So when you are putting ors, you simply list the values with commas. And here we display to the user that it's very good. Case. For all values from 4 to 10, this is how you can go about doing that. For all values from 4 to 10, the output will going to be good. And for all other values, the output will going to be better luck next time. Now let's try to run this program. And as we run this program, you will going to notice that as I enter a value of 1, the output will be excellent. If I enter a value of 2 or 3, the output should be very good. If I enter a value anywhere between 4 and 10 inclusive, the output is good. For all other values, it is better luck next time. Exactly the same output as we had in the if condition. So this is how you can be converting an if condition with ors and ands into an equal in case statement without having to repeat the names of the variables and without having to use any of the operators that you have been working with in if condition. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Catch you in the next one.